Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation. Now, this is the standard form of any quadratic equation, and the formula in getting the sum and the product of the roots is simply x sub 1 plus x sub 2 that represents your roots is equal to negative b over a, while the product is x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here these problems, or this problem. It says here, find the sum and product of the roots of the equation x squared minus 12x plus 12 is equal to 0. So what does, what does, what does it mean pag sinabi natin sum and product? Meaning, we need to add the roots of the equation and the product and the roots of, and we need to multiply and add the roots of the quadratic equation. So let's say for example, we will try to solve this manually, and after that, we will try to use the formula. If we have x squared minus 12x plus 20 is equal to 0, by factoring, we can solve this problem. The factors are, x minus 10 and x minus 2 because if we have negative 10 times negative 2 that is positive 20 if we have negative 10 plus negative 2 that is negative 12 so solving this by factoring we have x minus 10 is equal to 0 and the other is x minus 2 is equal to 0 Transpose this to the other side, your x is equal to positive 10. This is the first root or the value of x sub 1. Well, for x sub 2, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side of the equation, that is x is equal to positive 2 or 2. Now, let us try and find the sum of the roots. To find the sum of the roots, we need to add the x sub 1 and x sub 2. We have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and we have 10 plus 2 meaning the sum is equal to 12. And as for the products, product of the roots, we have the x sub 1 times the x sub 2 and that is simply 10 times Two. And that will give you the answer of 20. Now, this method is by manually solving for the value of x and eventually adding and multiplying the roots to get the sum and product. So, for the next method, we will use this formula. Okay? The formula in getting the sum x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is simply negative b over a. Now, for the product naman, we have x sub 1 times x sub 2, and the formula is simply c over a. And as you can see, in these formulas, we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. In this problem, your a is equal to 1, your b is definitely negative 12, and your c is 20. Now let us use this formula and substitute these values of a, b, and c. For the sum, we have negative, originally negative, eh? and then your b is negative 12, so we will use parentheses to indicate multiplication over your a, which is equal to 1. So simplifying this, Negative times negative is positive, so this is 12 over 1. And simplifying 12 over 1, that will give the answer of 12. And as you can see, using the formula and by manually adding the roots of the given quadratic equation, we can still have the same answer. Okay? So much better to use this formula. Next, to find the product, Use the value of C, 
which is 20, over your a, which is equal to 1. And simplifying this, 20 divided by 1 is simply 20. Voila! As you can see, we still have the same answer. So I hope guys na natutunan niyo yung sagot natin or yung method natin on how to find the sum and product of the roots of the equation. And another possible problem that you will encounter is that you will be asked to find the original equation if given naman yung roots. Okay? Let's try these problems. Find the equation or the quadratic equation given the following roots. So here, number one, let me explain. Negative 5 and 4 are the roots of a quadratic equation. So in other words, uh, it's, it is simply like this. If these are the roots, we have x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 4. Now, the question here, if we have this x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to negative 4, how do we find the original quadratic equation given these roots? So what we need to do here is we will reverse the process. So here, if we have x is equal to negative 5, we will transpose back negative 5 from right to left. So we will put it here from right to left and here from right to left. It will become x plus 5 is equal to 0 and the other is x minus 4 is equal to 0. So we know that these are the factors. We will express this as factors and that will be equal to 0. So we have x plus 5 times x minus 4 and all of them are equal to 0. In this case, we will use the FOIL method to finally get the quadratic equation. We have x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 4, that is negative 4x, then 5 times x, we have plus 5x, negative 5 times negative 4, negative 20 or minus 20 is equal to 0. And as you can see, we can still combine negative 4 and 5x. So we have x squared, and this is plus x, and for this, minus 20 is equal to 0. And this is the original quadratic equation. What about this number 2? Number 2, we have 1 third and 6. Here, the first is x is equal to 1 third. This x is equal to 6. For this example, or for this value, we need to do cross multiplication first. Okay, we will cross multiply, or we will multiply this by 3. By 3. 3 times x is 3x. Here, 1 times 3 is 3 divided by 3. That is equal to 1. And this part, transpose 6 to the other side from positive, it will become negative. x minus 6 is equal to 0. We're not done yet, huh? This positive 1 must be transposed to the other side. It will become 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And this is x minus 6 is equal to 0. We will express them in as factors and then b equal to 0. This 3x minus 1 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. Same thing we need to do. The FOIL method, 3 times x, that is 3x squared, 3x times negative 6, that is negative 18x, followed by negative 1 times x, that is negative x, negative 1 times negative 6, that is positive 6, or 6 is equal to 0. Combine this, copy 3x squared. Okay, copy 3x square. This is negative 19x because we have here an invisible 1 or invisible negative 1. Then plus 6 is equal to 0. And this is now the quadratic equation of the given roots 1 third 
and 6. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!